Hello everybody, one more time. My name is Alex Antenna with Mercados Interactive Partners and today we're going to be taking a look at a great, great um, video cast uh, focusing on the topic of sharpening and uh, basically advanced techniques to do sharpening for your images. And why is this important? Uh, well, most of the images that are used professionally you're going to see that they have a sharpness to them. They, they look what we call tack sharp. Um, and those images don't come out of the camera just like that. So when you receive as a digital media artist, you receive the image from your photographer, uh, the image is going to have a little bit of a traditional blur that comes with the digital cameras with the sensor. And so uh, it is very common to apply professional techniques for sharpening. And we're going to be taking a look at the most used techniques uh, so that you have those in, in your uh, repertoire, uh, in your tool bag, in case you need uh, sharpening. But before we do that, let's take a look at our sponsor for today. And of course, our sponsor for today is Mercados.com, M-E-R-K-D-O-S.com, located in the Research Triangle area in North Carolina. And our focus is to help businesses of all sizes make more money through the use of a strategic website design, custom digital media development, and web marketing. For more information, you can contact us at 888-525-8117 or visit us on the web at Mercados.com, M-E-R-K-D-O-S.com. Check us out. Uh, and today we're going to be using uh, an image provided by the stock exchange so you can go to sxc.hu photo 14.21979 which is the one we were using today you click on it and then you go ahead and download the image great stuff so I have here in my Photoshop the image that we're talking about uh, I am using a ratio right now 1920 by uh, 1080 um, which is a traditional HD uh, composition size and I am going to start with the traditional most used sharpening technique which is the unsharp mask so what I'm gonna do I have layer one here I'm gonna duplicate my layer I'm gonna call this one unsharp and basically the technique consists of going to filters sharpen unsharp mask and then selecting the appropriate um, settings here. We have a window here, and this window, of course, gives us a little bit of a preview, and you can keep the preview also on the main image if you actually click here. Uh, you can set the amount, the radius, and the threshold. I'm not gonna go into the details of which one of these, but um, uh, you can definitely uh, play with those settings. But once you're happy with the amount of uh, sharpening, all you have to do is click OK. And then you have a before and after. Let's actually zoom in here to the skin to actually take a look at also the sharpening. And you can see that there's sharpening of the noise as well. And that's why this technique is probably not ideal, although like it's very, uh, very well used. You can see that definitely there's sharpening going on and it looks uh, good but it's also sharpening the details of the photo that we don't want sharpened so that's the first technique the second technique we're going to take a look is the high pass sharpening so let's go ahead and duplicate this one and we're going to call it high pass and it consists of filter and then go into other high pass this filter uh, is going to create this 50% gray for the most part uh, image and then you have uh, lighter than 50% gray and darker than 50% gray and so when we uh, apply this image in overlay mode is going to create a sharpening effect so let's say that we want this to be about the radius of 1.4 or so so around there so hit OK uh, another thing we're gonna do before we actually uh, change this to the um, overlay mode is I'm gonna use command U for 
hue and saturation and get rid of the saturation because the high pass filter sometimes can carry some color information. We don't want that. We just want the uh, grayscale information. And then we're going to change this to overlay mode, so the blending mode. And that's pretty much the technique. So if we actually look at this here, you can see it here. Let me just show it here. You can see that indeed it is sharpening. But if we take a look at the skin as well, you can see that the noise is being sharpened as well. Now, I'm not sure if in the video cast you can see that as well, but uh, trust me, it is happening. And when you're doing your own experiments, you will see that it's uh, sharpening uh, the parts of the skin in this case that we don't want sharpened as well. And the background also is being sharpened. So there's the third technique that we're going to be taking a look today uh, that actually protects those areas. And um, so let me just go ahead and delete this to sharpening techniques. And I am going to duplicate my layer. I'm going to call this one mask for, uh, for now. And so what I'm going to do is apply a filter to this mask filter I'm going to come to stylize, find edges. All right, so not looking fantastic, of course, <laughs> because finding the edges of my image. So command U again to get rid of the saturation. So all we need is really like the lightness of the mask. And here we're going to use our curves to determine what parts are going to be sharpened and which ones are going to be masked out. Uh, so by using command M and bringing our curves panel here, I can actually start reducing the lights here. And you can see that my highlights in the image are actually being clipped out. And I can clip them really, really aggressively. Uh, but basically all I'm doing here is taking a look at the image as I'm moving this slider here to just include the sharpening that I want. So I'm going to go here and you can see that there's some skin there that is still being sharpened and I don't want that. So there you go, right over there. And then I'm going to do the same with the black point. I'm going to bring the black point up until I get a good amount of items to sharpen there. So that's pretty good. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to blur with a Gaussian blur. This layer, a radius of 3 is OK. So, and I'm going to one more time darken those black points. So Command M with curves. One more time bringing those uh, darker points, which are going to represent the parts that we're going to affect. So I'm going to hit OK. And uh, for the most part, you should know by now, uh, if you've been following some of our videos, that uh, in a mask, everything that is black is going to be transparent and everything that is uh, white is going to be affected. So in this case, we have to reverse this mask. So I'm going to do that with Command I. Great. And then now that we have actually the affected area in white and the transparent part in black, then we can use just a regular brush with black color to actually get rid of the things that we really don't want to sharpen. So we can revise uh, our image. Make sure that you're using opacity at 100%. Uh, so like that. Um, I really don't want to sharpen the nose. So I'm going to delete that as well. Or the wrinkle here. So all you need to do is really like revise the mask so that you're sharpening the actual parts that you're interested in sharpening. Perfect. Once you're happy with the mask that you've created, uh, then all it takes is to apply it to our smart filter. So let's go ahead and duplicate our layer, layer one. I'm going to call it smart 
sharpening. Okay. And I'm going to transform this into a smart object in order to apply smart filtering. And I can do that with just going to filter, convert to smart filters, hit OK. And you can see that my layer now became a smart object. And uh, once I do that, then I'm going to go to filter and apply the unsharp mask. And I can leave this as I prefer for now because I'm going to be able to change it afterwards, after the fact, which is an added benefit of doing this technique. All right, great. Now we need to transfer this mask to the smart filter mask here. So I'm going to go to channels. And um, as you can see, all of my channels are actually showing the, um, the mask that I need. So let me go ahead and copy this one. I'm going to call this one the mask and I'm going to command click on top of it which actually selects my mask and I'm going to click on top of this sharpening uh, filter mask and I'm going to fill it with the 100% black. Great. So we take a look at it and let me just get rid of everything else. You can see that is uh, it's done exactly the opposite of what we need. So one more time, Command I to reverse it, and now we have this smart sharpening filter mask. All right. So now that we have that, if I actually was to if I were to click back in my layers panel, you can see that my st smart filter mask is filled there. So I can go ahead and get rid of my original mask. And if we take a look at our sharpening before and after, before and after, it's pretty evident here, before and after, before and after. And uh, the benefit of the technique here, this is the forehead here, you can see that absolutely has an effect of course our skin at all and of course this is the technique that you want to be using because you won't be sharpening details that you don't want sharpened most importantly I can always double click on the unsharp mask and I can change the amount of sharpening if I felt like it was too much so I can go ahead and print this let's say that I'm I was printing this image so I can print it and if it doesn't actually look the way that I want it I can come back apply different, uh, a different amount of radius of threshold or the amount of the actual sharpening until I am happy, which of course doesn't happen with any of the other two techniques that we looked at. Alrighty, so those are three fantastic techniques professionally used to sharpen your images. And of course, from now on, I hope that your images are sharp as attack. Hopefully this has been helpful. Again, don't hesitate to contact us at mercados.com. Uh, I look forward to looking at your comments in the YouTube comment box. And again, my name is Alex Centeno. Have a great day.